Hey everyone, this is Charlie Me and Dan of thechartguys.com. Down in the description of this video is a link to our new website. We are offering a 10-day free trial. Today was day number two trying out our new webcam feature where we are looking at shorter time frames, 5, 15 minute, 30 minutes, to potentially capture day trading or option flipping. We also are geared towards looking at longer term investments, looking at weekly charts, and swing trading looking at daily charts. So we have a little bit of something for everybody, and we encourage you to check it out. Looking at NBG on the daily and weekly time frame, I had NBG on high bounce watch last night because this 85 support seemed pretty strong, but looking at pre-market that was quickly erased as we saw the price was down in the 70 range pre-market before anything happened after the bell ringing, so we took it off our list. We will be watching for a bounce as the bulls did uh, control most of the day. We had the open down here, touched off 70, found support, and then the bulls took over and closed it at 82. So definitely a good trading opportunity. My mentor told me that gap downs are for buying and gap ups are for selling. And in this instance, this was certainly a, a buying opportunity for some quick, easy gains on the day. So we'll be looking at this 91 resistance, the 10-day moving average. And 85 is also going to be resistance because it acted as support so many times the past couple of months or I guess that's the past couple of weeks. Looking at the weekly time frame, we can see that it's a nice big hammer forming, which is a bullish reversal candlestick. If we see a green candlestick after this one, it confirms the bullish reversal, but we still have three trading days left, so this candlestick will probably change. The MACD is about to make a bearish cross here. We'll see if a bullish reversal can negate that from happening. We're going to see an increase in volume over last week's candlestick, and we have the lower Bollinger Band resistance here at 86. So these are all things we're going to be watching. Um, ideally, the close above the 85 mark on the end of the week would be a good sign for the bulls, but the National Bank of Greece was beat up today with a little bit of recovery, but still not a good sign for the bulls. So if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put them out daily. And again, the website is thechartguys.com. You have nothing to lose by trying it out, and I look forward to meeting you in the chat room. Have a great Tuesday night, and thank you for watching.